I didn't know who this was, but I thought these were really glamorous. Impractical and glamorous. Should I do this in my glasses? Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Mary McDonald and I'm an interior designer. I'm based out of Los Angeles and New York and I'm here to tell you what is in my bag, which is probably against my best interests. So, here we go. I actually love this bag. It's years old, it's a Dolce & Gabbana bag. Even if it wasn't a Dolce & Gabbana bag, I would still love it because I love leopard. It's not real leopard, it's just calf hair that's printed. So I thought I would bring something jazzy for you. I have tons of junk in my bag, always. Like, this is actually good. Here's my makeup bag, which was actually given to me by designers. Eric Hughes and Nathan Turner gave me this for, I don't know, Christmas or something. You probably, if you're a design aficionado, you know who they are. They're my friends. This is Lulu Guinness. It's also leopard. These clash, I know. This is fantastic mascara called Damn Girl. These great sunglasses by Oliver Goldsmith. My friend made me this horsehair keychain, but I can't see it in my purse. I guess I should take these off, it's a little weird. So I always have a grow grain ribbon so that I can find this in my purse. It's actually super helpful. And I have a Sharpie, I always have a Sharpie. I'm always needing a Sharpie, like on a job, I need to write something on a box, or I always have a Sharpie. This wallet is so trash, but isn't it pretty green? I can't really even show it to you because it's got so much junk in it. I have 50 sets of glasses in my purse. Not just these. I have ne I need reading glasses at all times. So these, these, and by the way, I always like can't find my glasses. Oh, I have a tape measure because I always have a tape measure, which of course is Schumacher's. Everyone needs a tape measure. I'm actually afraid looking in this purse because I don't know if I edited this after I looked at it, so I'm kind of scared. Oh, okay, I have swatches. These are some beautiful Schumacher fabrics. Of course, it's mine. This one is something I'm working on with it. I like to drive around with swatches that I'm, like color schemes I'm working on, especially for myself, because I can't tell if like, do I really want to live with this? So they'll be stuffed in my purse. It's kind of a creative thing. Hold on, I have to put these back because you know how you lose expensive glasses. <clears throat> Let's see. I always have scissors. I'm always needing to cut something or a swatch, like always. These are a little big, but I had these in this other purse, so. Uh, a paint chart. It's the fine paints of Europe because I'm working on something. So if it isn't this, it's someone else's. Okay, here's what I love about me. It still has one of the tags from when I bought it. <laughs> but, but it's just gonna stay in there, okay? I didn't even know that was in there. I always have this Yves Saint Laurent with me. It is a great smelling perfume and it's a metal canister. So you don't ever have to worry about it breaking. But it's great smelling, Reef Gauche. It is very Bianca Jagger. 1970s. Oh, it's so good. Oh, notes. I do need paper. I'm a paper person. I'm so afraid of what could fall out of here. But these are just notes on job, anything. Like if I even don't feel good, I'll be like, oh, I hate them. I always have something with some paper. This one's full, so I don't really want to show you in case who knows what could be in there. I love that, I thought you edited my purse, Tori. I have a curler in here. That is really embarrassing. This is very weird, I realize, and I should never take it. I Sometimes I need a protein and I like beef turkey. <laughs> this is very big. Usually I have a little thing of nuts, or this is very weird. I, I might have to start over. Oh, these were inspiring me. I needed to take these somewhere. They're these striped straws. No, this has no purpose, I hear you. This has no purpose, like why do you need the straws with you? I just happen to be working on these things, so that's why the straws are there. Don't you have straws in your purse? But aren't they cute? Look, a whole room after this, painted on the doorways. The most embarrassing thing in my bag, you'd think it, you'd think it would be this, but for some reason I feel no shame. I feel the most embarrassing thing in my bag was this little guy. Why do I have a curler? I don't know, came off. Yeah, I'm that lady that is driving next to you that her hair's not finished. If my bag were a decorator from history, let's see, if this bag, Madeline Castang, I think, 
I think I'm gonna go with good old Maddie. Um, the whole thing is a little bit Madeline. Let's say Madeline Kestang. My favorite thing in my bag is probably this because I think it was my first perfume that Webb Fair gave me. I think I was 15. Hi, Webb. Um, Webb Fair was my first boyfriend. It's so like Studio 54. How do you not just like to look at that and smell it? Oh, look, if you want to start a glasses shop, another Sharpie, like, this is pretty good. I'm not even, I shouldn't even be embarrassed at all. I feel like I've, I'm cured of my other bag. You should see it when I have a really big book bag, but that's not glamorous. So this is like my best self that I could bring. Except the curler. The curler got out of its container. So see you later. And by the way, this isn't even the weirdest now that I think about it. I'm, I don't even know why I'm embarrassed. It's, it could be much worse. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me say that again.